Hi, trying something slightly different this time that the recipe isn't just kind of merged in with the weekly vlog. Uh, so this is a standalone video on how to make uh, charred bhajis and uh, <laughs> what's that? Beetroot and mustard seeds. Mm. Because this is mainly a vegetable growing channel, I'm going to start with picking the veg. But if you're just here for the recipe, go to three minutes and three seconds and that's where it starts. Sparges are a type of Indian vegetable fritter that is made with gram flour. And a gram flour is a flour made from a specific type of chickpea, but that makes it gluten free. So for anybody out there who, uh, you know, gluten intolerance and all those kind of things, um, yeah, it's gluten free. As long as you use gluten free uh, baking powder as well, you're good to go. This basic mix for the bhaji can be made with all sorts of vegetables. I do this same mix with courgettes in the summer, but at this time of year, it's kind of kale, you can do it with cabbage, um, cavallanero, tried it once with parsnips. It makes no difference to the end result. For this particular recipe, I'm gonna be using the leaves around the edge of the char plants, the ones that are a little bit gnarly. Um, they don't have to be perfect. When you're kind of just doing steamed chard for your dinner or whatever, you want the leaves to be really perfect and lush. You don't want all the spots all over them and holes and all the rest of it. But for something like this, like washed and shredded and then <laughs> in a batter, you won't know the difference. It's a good way to use them up. And I mentioned in the vlog last week that the uh, chard that I'm using is actually the perpetual spinach chard, um, the, just the Frankie's Bietta. I'm using that one for two reasons. Firstly, it's quite a robust chard, so it's not like something like the Lucullus, uh, which really wilts down almost like a proper spinach when that's cooked. And I'm using it because it's green rather than one of the coloured ones because I've made this recipe, the beetroot chard, which is the really, really dark leafed one. And I just find that it doesn't look so good. That's the only reason. Tastes great. So whatever chard you've got's fine. But just in terms of just the aesthetics of it, I prefer a green chard and something that's just a bit stronger. But where we're using the gnarly old chard leaves, the opposite is true for the beetroot. Because it's a recipe for basically raw beetroot, you don't want to go for the gnarly one. <laughs> you want a good size beetroot, but something that is uh, not got a really thick core. You know, when they go woody down the centre, you want to choose, choose a good beetroot. Don't wait till the end of the year where they're all, um, you know, you break your teeth on them. Also, when they're that hard, they're impossible to grate. <laughs> In terms of varieties, the uh, beetroot I'm using is the Detroit Rubrus 6, a really fantastic beetroot. It is a derivative of Bolt Hardy, but it's just got a fantastic flavour and stays much more tender, I find, than uh, some of the other beetroots that go chewy much faster. This one seems to stay really good. Anyway, great beetroot. Let's take this stuff home and uh, make some food.
making them too big, they're not great. The oil's never quite the right temperature. By the time you've got to the end lot, you're making absolute perfect. They're the right size, they cook perfectly, and the oil's just like got to exactly the right temperature. So it just takes a bit of a fiddle, but it's a process that happens every single time. And that chaps is charred bargies and beetroot and mustard seed. The mustard seeds, I don't know if you've ever eaten them before, but they don't taste anything like mustard. They have a really nutty, earthy, just delicious flavour that goes so well with the beetroot. And it really cuts through all that lemon juice in there and the mustard seeds really cuts through the friedness <laughs> of the bargies. Absolutely delicious. Just missing one thing. Incredible professional. Not only did I not have enough turmeric, uh, I've just opened my yogurt, which is what like you would normally have with it. You know, yogurt, lovely. Uh, can you see that? It's mouldy. <laughs> so we're not going to be having yogurt with it. But normally, I'd have yogurt with it. No yogurt, I'm afraid, because it's rotten. <laughs> there we go. Let me get some plates. know in the comments whether you think this is going to work by putting like the recipes in they'll probably tie into what i've been like harvesting this week or that week in the vlog kind of throw in the odd recipe between vlogs so yeah let me know if you think it worked sadly because this was lunch it's too early in the morning for a glass of wine so i can't even cheers you bit of a shame hopefully i'll get some dinner recipes going <laughs> see you if you're a patreon i will see you on monday and for everybody else see you on tuesday <laughs>